Good morning, friends. Good morning, Americans. Good morning, pals. Welcome to Pray for America. A few minutes of prayer for our nation, for our leaders, our loved ones, for our lives, our marriages, for our health, for our wealth, for our nation. I read something really inspiring this morning out of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. I'm paraphrasing, more than paraphrasing, I'm just going to share the concept. Jesus will keep you strong to the end. That is an encouraging promise. Let me just, let me look it up because it was too good. Let's see here. Go there, go there, go there, go there. All right, where was it? Okay, I'm in here. Let's see. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be free from all blame on the day when our Lord Jesus Christ returns. I can't count the number of times that I have asked the Lord to to keep me strong. I can't tell you how many times I have asked him. Now, granted, this is a letter written by Paul to the church at Corinth, to the Corinthian church, way back in the day. And he was talking to the church about keeping the church strong. And as you know, the church of Jesus Christ is strong. But many of the promises that are written in the word can be applied individually as well so i have asked god so many times dear god please keep me strong until the end please allow my faith to uphold me when darkness falls when i'm tempted when i'm sick when i'm afflicted when i don't feel you near me because sometimes God will withdraw his manifest presence in order to test our hearts. Good morning, everybody. Jim, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for, for being right here. But, you know, way back in the day, way back in the 80s, I used to beg God. I used to just cry out to him, please don't let me miss your will. Please don't let me miss your will. And, and I, you know, I thought that my salvation, my, my destiny, my life hung on the edge of a knife and that it would be so easy and I would go the wrong way and that would be that. I would just miss my entire destiny. But that's not how God works. He causes us to lie down in green pastures, not fearfully search for a single blade of grass to know the will of God. No, not at all. And I'll never forget, it was years of praying, please don't let me miss your will, that one day the Holy Spirit gently spoke to me. <laughs> it's so funny. I heard you the first time. <laughs> oh, what a relief. What, a, what an incredible laying down of, of stress, of tension, that, that I would hear that from God. I heard you the first time. And you know what? I, I don't think I've prayed that since. Please don't let me miss your will. Because God gave me trust that day that he won't let me miss his will. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Tony. Good to see you guys. So beautiful. And now... Today, just now, I'm having the second revelation. It's, it's not incumbent upon me to pray, God, oh, God, keep me strong to the end. Keep me strong to the end. Please don't let me turn away from you at the end like so many in the, in the Word that they served you their whole life and then at the very end they pff, failed to seek you. I have prayed that. 
and God heard me the first time. My confidence in him is in him, not in myself. So let us together as a group of prayer warriors go confidently before the Lord to receive mercy and help because he is here. He's here right now to deliver that mercy, to deliver that healing, to deliver that health, to deliver that help in our time of need. And this is, in America, a great time of need. So we pray for ourselves, we pray for our marriages, we pray for our loved ones, we pray for our land, our beautiful country. Dear God, we lift up our homeland. Yes, heaven is our destination. And we are now citizens of heaven. And we acknowledge that and we're happy about that. So thrilled. We love that. But we are responsible to pray for our leaders here in our homeland, America. And so, God, it is with joy that we come to you this morning with gratitude for all that you have given us and with humility, humbling ourselves before you, God. Apart from you, we have and are nothing, but we're not apart from you, Lord. Hallelujah! We're not apart from you. You're with us forever. You, you have caused us to pass already from death to life. What a joy. We are citizens of heaven, here and seated in heaven with you in heavenly places. Don't fathom it, believe it. Hallelujah. So from our vantage point, in your lap, loving you, knowing you, worshiping you, bowing down to you, pledging our lives and everything we own to you. From that posture, we cry out, save America, send revival. Let the Holy Spirit sweep across the land. One angel, <laughs> that's all we need. One breath from the Holy Spirit can completely revive this country. Do it, Lord, we pray. Please do it. Do it, Lord God. In Jesus' name we cry out. Save us, God. Lord, restore America to the place of her founding, dedicated to you. Dear God, help us, Lord. Help us to become what we have de dedicated ourselves as a nation to become, a more perfect union. Not a perfect union, I heard you the first time, but a more perfect union. Yes, God, you are our precious masterpiece painter. You are the, the most amazing friend and, and, and lover and king we could ever hope for. We appoint you king over the world. You are already king over the world, king over our lives. And we give you lordship over America. You already have it. Glory to God. Lord, raise up godly leaders, tear down evil leaders. But spare those who, in your mercy, will come to you. Father, we, we are not haters. We love even our enemies and want them to, to be saved and restored, but taken from power. So that those who are appointed to power will, will lead our nation back to God. For as goes the head, so goes the tail. Give us humble, godly leaders. Lord, we pray for President Trump. 
We pray that he will be a humble, godly, spirit-filled leader, and that if it is your will, you will restore him to leadership. I mean, he's still very much the leader of the Republican Party. Allow him to lead from his knees, God, not bowing down to an ideology, not bowing down to the left, but bowing down to you, Lord Jesus, in humility. May he become a godly leader. Lord, may our cities, our states, our counties all be led by godly, humble men and women. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, we cry out for our marriages in America. Lord God, let our marriages be strengthened. Let husbands and wives pray together to you for wisdom and strength that we might grow deeper and deeper in our love for one another, in the way we serve one another, in the way we choose unselfish uh, servants, servanthood to one another, that we might cherish one another as one, cherries, cher- as one cherishes great treasure. Thank you, God. My wife is my treasure. Help me to honor her, to love her the way you love her, to serve her the way you want me to serve her. And Lord, also, my children, we pray for our kids, God. Help us to love them as you love them. Help us to serve them as you would have us serve them. Help us to lead them in a way that honors you and reflects your leadership in our lives. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. And Lord, we lift up our nation's physical health. Lord, this sick disease that is um, loose across the world, Father, would you put an end to it? Lord, one breath from you and COVID can become an instant thing of the past. Lord, would you do that? Would you put an end to it, Father? And if any have uh, done evil, as we know some have, Father, would you bring them to justice? Thank you, Lord. Protect your people, Father. Help people find those safe and effective, quick remedies that work so well and not just languish in hospitals while their lungs turn to jello. Oh, God, save your people. Save many people in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Heal diabetes. I think of my friend Tony, who's on here today. Tony, may God heal you completely. And he he is changing you because you've made wise choices with your diet. I'm so proud of you. So happy. Lord, may, may we all learn to live healthy lifestyles, making wise choices. But then also, Father, may we receive a supernatural touch from you to heal diseases, Father. Lord, heal arthritis, I pray. And Father, take down that dreaded monster, cancer, in the lives of all on the show or whoever hear this. Lord, would you heal them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you, did, you told us, heal the sick. So in the name of Jesus, be healed. Thank you, God. Thank you for your power going out through this program, touching lives, healing. I just proclaim tumors disappear in the name of Jesus. Brain tumors be healed in Jesus' name. Arthritis be gone in Jesus' name. And brothers and sisters, be whole. Be made whole in Jesus' beautiful, precious, and unlimited name. Glory to God. Well, folks, what a joy. What an honor to be with you this morning. We love you. 
I love you. I thank you for praying with me for a few minutes. Hallelujah. God uses the prayers of his people and changes nations. Hallelujah. Think about those in the Old Testament who humbly cried out to God for wisdom. And because of that, God, God would direct them, lead out the army. But then often he would say, you won't even need to fight. And one angel would wipe out 180,000 troops. Amazing. And they would get to the battlefield and, and, and haul off the plunder. Man, what a joy. Amen. Amen, Mark. Yes, well said. Heavenly Father, we believe for greatness. We believe for great, great works from your Spirit. Direct us, Commander. You are our Commander-in-Chief. Lead and we will follow. Thank you for great, bold, dynamic ideas. Hallelujah. Thank you that we are eternal beings living in a body that ages. But we, we on the inside, our soul, our spirit, timeless. Timeless. John Morgan, I'm the same John Morgan I was when I was 18. My tent is aging, do you see? But I'm not. On the inside, I'm being renewed day by day. Eternity has begun for me. Wrap your brain around that, folks. You're timeless. My sister Janice, a couple of weeks ago, she left. Her body died. Her body, but she didn't die. Jesus said, if you believe in me, you'll never die. He said that to Mary right before he lay, raised Lazarus from the dead. So it's, you have to understand, we have a physical life and a spiritual life. Physical body, spiritual body. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 15. This seed is sown into the ground. And what is grown from that seed? Powerful, imperishable. Huge, it's going to be so huge. <laughs> so have a phenomenal day, my eternal beloved friends. Let's go out there and do exploits for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Smash that like button if you, if you resonate with what I'm saying. And do me a favor, share this program out with your friends. I, I see some of you sharing. I'm, I'm so grateful that you do that. The more we do it, the bigger we'll grow. So I, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. It's your show. It's, it's, it's not mine alone. I, I can't do it. We can do it. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Mark, Beth, everybody, Alyssa, Jim, you guys are awesome. Have a phenomenal, phenomenal, God-filled, God-glorifying day. Sanctified by the Holy Spirit and blessed beyond measure. God bless America. <laughs>